Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, I have a brand new background. It's very temporary because I've just ordered a really long string of fairy lights where I'm just going to do it a little bit more better. But let me get out the shot so I can show you. So as you can see, I have just two strings of fairy lights with four pictures on. I have two pictures of myself and Phoebe. They actually are quite old, but they're like two of my favourite pictures ever. I have a picture of myself and Amy and also myself and Joanne and I just kind of like how I've done it. It looks very um, DIY because I literally did this morning. What I was going to do um, would have taken a lot of work and I realised as I was doing it that I was kind of copying Soph from Soph to Snails and I was like, I do not want anyone to watch these videos and be like, why are you copying Soph? So I decided not to. Basically, um, yeah, so I'm going to get a another like long one yeah I have a new background and this is how more or less my background is gonna look so let me know in the comments what you think of it so for today's video I'm going to be doing a November's favorite video and because it is December I just want to let you know I am going to be doing a lot more videos at least two videos a week hopefully um so yeah if you're excited about them give it a big thumbs up and I'm really excited because I'm gonna be doing some makeup videos and that's irrelevant now but yeah so I hope you enjoy December so in my November's favorites I'm going to be cutting it down to categories like I did last time so we're gonna start off with makeup and the first thing that I have been loving is the Estee Lauder the Luminate Radiant Perfecting Primer and Finisher and basically I bought this when I went to the Estee Lauder event with it's not like it was kind of an event but it wasn't like a PR event it was literally just a local uh, store near me was doing like a big um, Estee Lauder night and my cousin works in uh, somewhere near there so we just kind of went myself and my mom with my cousin Amy and yeah I picked up one of these because I realized that halfway through the day my um, makeup just literally comes off which is okay like when you're at work you, just, you don't really care but like when I'm going out and things like that I don't want it to come off and things like that and I've never really been a big fan of primers this is a really good one. I thought I had oily skin and everyone looked at me that night and laughed and they were like, you have dry skin. And they gave me the illuminating one because it kind of like makes your skin look just a little bit more radiating. And you know what? I have been using this every single day since I got it and I've noticed such a difference. My makeup has stayed on and I've just, I've literally loved it so much. I will also leave a link in the description of all products that I talk about. So yeah, if you want to pick this up and you have dry skin, I highly recommend it. The next thing that I have been loving is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup Foundation and basically this is, I just want to say this is not a sponsored video obviously uh, but I have actually been loving the products from Estee Lauder. They are quite pricey um, and I hate spending my money but I knew that these two would be a good um, kind of purchase. So this one is in the shade Ecru and I got a new shade. I had been wearing this one, let's just compare, you can't really see right now, but I'm going to do a close-up anyway. Shell was way too light for me, um, although it doesn't look it now, but it actually really was. Um, so whenever I was wearing this one, people would be like, you look really, really pale. And then I um, I went to the Estee Lord and I, and the woman kind of did like a tester on me. The woman, Jill, she's really nice. Um, and yeah, she, she loves myself and she loves Amy as well. Um, so, you know, it's good that she likes both of us. Uh, yeah, she put this one on straight away. Everyone was like, that's a better fit, uh, a better match for you. Um, so I've been wearing this every single day since that night, which was a couple of weeks ago. I did vlog it, but I didn't put it up because I felt like it was a little bit long and a little boring. Uh, but if you want to see it, she basically, Jill, um, who was in charge of the um, of the night, she did like someone's makeup and the angles are kind of bad because I was watching it and then realising I was filming like something completely off. But if you want me to try and do a, uh, put together the vlog for that, just leave a comment below and I might do that for you. It might be one of my December videos that I upload. Um, so yeah, I have been using this every day. I also bought myself a pump. Um, yeah, I don't know if you remember when I first tested this, tested this out, I hated how runny it was on my hand. And I finally realised that you can probably buy a pump for this. So I looked online and bought it from Boots. I will leave a link below in case anyone has any um, Estee Lord products that they're like, it's really runny, it's doing my heading. So yeah, I will leave a link below for that. 
Um, but yeah, I have been absolutely loving this and I feel like I don't have to worry about wearing, um, like trying to do contour and bronzer now because I'm not using this one. Like, I, you can't really tell the difference, but this one is a lot lighter um, and this one matches my skin tone a lot better. So yeah, I have been loving Estee Lauder a lot apparently. And I got these both on the same night and they were meant to be like £53 and I got £5 off. So it was like £58, I think that was, I think the prices were a little bit wrong then, but yeah, I got it for 40 something pounds and yeah, I've been wearing them every day, so it was worth it. The next thing that I'm gonna talk about isn't makeup, but it's kind of related in this in the category. And it's basically just Vaseline, the aloe vera one. Um, I have been loving this. I am full of cold at the moment, which you probably can't tell because I don't know why, but I'm feeling a lot better today. Um, I've got a really bad cough and I've had a really bad cold. Uh, basically when I went to Ireland, um, I don't know if you could tell, my nephew was really, really ill, bless him, and he had like a massive rush around here. And both of them, both Molly and Oshin, were like full of cold. And every time I held them, they coughed in my face. Why? Why? I just I just didn't like it and I was like, I'm gonna end up ill. Both myself and my mum ended up ill and I've had very dry lips and a dry nose and I've basically just been using this religiously. Um, I've just put some on before filming and then obviously I put on my lipstick and I just find it just releases kind of like, it just makes it feel less chapped I guess. But yeah, it's a simple little thing, it's not really a makeup product but I just thought I would use it anyway, uh, mention it anyway. Um, but yeah, if I can find a decent link, I'll link it below for you, but I'm pretty sure you all know where to get some Vaseline. And I actually got it. The next thing is definitely not a makeup product, but I'm just putting it in this category because I don't want to put it in its own. It is the um, Virazorb Cold Sore Cream. Again, you will not know this, but I have a cold sore at the moment, but I've covered it with red lipstick. Um, Charlie the Cold Sore has returned for the 15,000th time in my life. Uh, that's just because I'm run down, because I'm waking up in the middle of the night, um, coughing and you know having to blow my nose, TMI I know, but it's been happening. And then I've, ooh, then I've had problems going back to sleep and things like that, and I'm up at 4, 4.30 every morning for work. So it's just kind of like getting its toll on me. And I bought, I went to go buy some yesterday. I had something similar to this, um, but I've noticed more of a difference when I applied this yesterday. But literally when I'm filming this, it's Thursday and since yesterday I've already noticed that it's dried up straight away. So this is a really good thing. Like I went to go ask for Savorax, which is obviously the most expensive brand. And she's like, why not just get this? And I did, and it's so tiny. <laughs> it's so tiny even for me. Uh, but yeah, I've noticed a big difference, so I will try and link this below for you. And if you ever have a cold sore, Charlie the cold sore, this is your gal. Okay, so the next category is kind of beauty, I guess, so I could have kind of put them two with it. Uh, the next thing that I have been loving, it's a really random one, so don't blame me, okay, but it is a razor, and it's not just any razor, okay? If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I did like a boomerang of this because it has my name engraved on it because I got it um, like an option for free. Um, and basically it's a rose gold uh, razor and it's from Friction Free Shaving. And try saying that three times and you cannot. Uh, so basically this is the rose one, rose, rose gold, you know. Um, and this is a brand new purchase. I got this this week. Um, Weirdly enough, I ordered this ages ago, and only the heads kept coming, to like coming to my house, being delivered. And I was just like, "Where's my actual handle? Like, I can't do it without a handle, you know? I can't shave that handle." Uh, basically, they delivered the handles later on, which really confused me. But I guess they've kind of like stocked you up just in case. Um, so yeah, I've been using this up for the past week and I've absolutely been loving it. Um, it's a really small head uh, compared to my other one, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and it's just easier to use. Um, so yeah, you basically get given, where is it? Which one's the one? Okay, so I also got in the package when I got the new one, um, a bag to put it in, which I got one for my other one um, and then I lost it, but because I take this to the gym now, I think that this will be very handy. It's just like a little travel bag that you can use. And you also got given like little pieces of paper, which I've read through. I can't give anything away, so sorry. Um, and basically, 
it um, gets put there and then you get given four blades a month. So it says at the top here, it says, I met this blade on Monday, took it for a ride on Tuesday. We were feeling smooth on Wednesday and on Thursday, Friday and Saturday, I changed my blade on Sunday. So basically the point is this, the point of this is that you use one blade a week. So they send you one every single month. And I'm not gonna lie, I got this on Monday. I got really confused on how to like apply it to the handle. I figured it out now because you know I'm 22 and I can handle things on my own. Um, and yeah, I just I just find this system really really good. I think it's nine pound I'm using right now. I think it's nine pound a month, which I was paying seven pound. Um, but yeah, as soon as I saw Rose, it's like a private joke between myself and Joanne. We call each other Rose. Uh, maybe I'll go into that one day, uh, but yeah as soon as I saw it I bought it and I was like I need to upgrade uh, But yeah, so the previous one that I was using is Samantha She has a bigger blade and I did find it was a little bit difficult to use uh, in like certain parts of my leg I know that sounds really weird, but I don't know just sometimes I just found it was a little bit chunky um, I think they have the same blades. I'm not really sure bear with me a second. Yeah, they have the same blades I'm pretty sure unless I've just miscounted uh, but that one's such a smaller head than that one. Like, look how chunky they are compared to each other. Like, that one probably looks exactly the same, but it's actually not. And also, I didn't mention, it comes with, like, a little protective thing. Um, but, yeah, so, I don't know. I don't know if this is, like, weird. I don't know if I can do this. Um, I have a few of the um, heads and, like, a completely new ones, like, left over. Like, obviously, I'll throw away this head. If anyone wants this, maybe comment below. I know this sounds really weird, but I will send it. I don't know if it's unhygienic because like that is literally all you'll be getting and then new heads. So if you want it, maybe message me and we'll sort something out. Again, I don't know if that's weird. I don't know if you could do that. Um, but yeah, I did do the boomerang, like I said, for Rose uh, with my engraved name on it. because I thought it was pretty cool and I just like sharing this brand because I love it so much. And they actually replied to me on Instagram. Obviously, this is not a sponsored thing again because you know I don't, I, I, I'm not endorsed to do that. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the things I've been loving. And yeah, I just kind of love the system that you get like new heads every single month. I don't know if you get any blade co blade cover, uh, but you never get a new handle. The handle is just a one-time purchase, and then you just yeah. I just think it's really good, and I've been really loving it. Okay, so my other category that I have is kind of on its own, but it's books. And what I've been loving this month is J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Now, I've never really discussed Harry Potter on my channel, but I am a Harry Potter fan. I'm not a Potterhead, I'm not like a big Harry Potter fan, but I do love the movies and it's one of the things that I like to sit down and just binge and watch myself. Um, and every time I watch kind of like a video on YouTube, because I kind of like to watch, you know, like the fan vid videos of like Ron and Hermione and Harry and Ginny. I sometimes like to sit and watch them or I'll watch stuff just about it. Like when people do like if Harry Potter characters text or if Harry Potter characters had Facebook. I don't know why on a Sunday I find myself getting lost in them kind of videos. Don't know why it happens. It just does. Um, but everyone always puts in the comments that the books are 10 times better. Um, I bought this at the beginning of this month and then I kind of forget about it. I have read that much and I have like less than that left. So I'm over halfway, I'm on chapter 11 on the Quidditch, Quidditch match. And I have noticed already that there's a lot of details that they've either changed or like missed out. So I do like, I prefer books, I've always preferred books to movies, um, but I never got into the Harry Potter books when I was younger because I read my brother's book. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this. Um, he used to have the Harry Potter books and I remember I picked one up and I like started reading the first page and it just confused me because I was only young, I was like seven and I just didn't understand it. Turns out I was reading the biggest book that there is and I cannot remember which one that is but it's like one of the biggest books and obviously it wasn't even number one so it didn't even make sense to me anyway what was going on and that was like the first sentence. Um, so yeah, I've decided to give it a try because like I said I do prefer books to movies and this is the 20 years of Harry Potter magic so this is like a special edition cover that they're doing I don't know if it's just at Asda or if it's like everywhere um, but yeah that is what I've been loving and I cannot wait to finish the series I only bought this one in the Chamber of Secrets just because it was two for seven pounds and I had to carry it around at the Estee Lauder night and I didn't want to uh, but yeah so that is what I've been loving 
So the next category that I want to talk about is kind of TV and films. I just want to kind of put it together. Um, I have been loving Riverdale. Now I talked about Jane the Virgin in my October favourite and then I mentioned that I started watching Riverdale and I didn't know if I liked it. I'm on like chapter, well, I'm saying chapter, episode like seven or eight um, of the first series and I'm really liking it so far. Um, it's, it's a bit weird, I find it a bit creepy. Um, but I, I'm still not sure on it, I'm just watching it for the sake of watching it and then I find myself once I've watched one episode that day, I want to watch more and more. So I'm kind of getting into it, I'm going to watch a couple of episodes today I think as well. Um, but yeah, my favourite character is obviously Jughead. I think, I think I have a soft spot for him because of Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, uh, but Cole is hilarious anyway and I think he's great. I am really shipping Jughead and Betty right now, if anyone turns around and tells me that that's not going to be a thing forever, I will freaking kill you because they are so cute. They're like in the stage of where they're just getting together right now and it's just like, ah! like they are together but like the first stages of their relationship is really cute. Um, yeah, and it's just kind of like a little bit creepy because they keep bringing like a dead guy, a dead guy back and I'm just kind of like, oh, you could tell that he's dead because he looks it and it just freaks me out a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've been loving that. The other thing that I have been loving, which is a very recent one, I watched it last night and I just wanted to mention it just before uh, November is over, is When Harry Met Sally. Like, this is a really old film. Like, how old is this film? I am going to have a look now at how old this film is. 1989 this came out and I've only just watched it now. And I cannot believe my mum didn't have me watching this, like, all throughout my childhood, like she did with, like, um, like, Made in Manhattan. I mean, that is quite like a 2000 film. Like, I understand, but like, I grew up watching stuff like Love Actually and them kind of like oldish films. But 1980, what did I say? Seven? Did I say 89? 89. Um, this was like such a me film, and I watched it last night for the first time on Netflix. And oh my god, I was watching it. I was just like, this is such a cute video. Uh, film. Sorry. Um, and I just like, I really loved it, and I just loved the storyline and. It made me feel all warm inside. The ending, I was just like, finally! Um, like, obviously I'm not gonna ruin the whole thing because I feel like some people never watch like old films. So if you're kind of like one of those people, I highly recommend that if you have Netflix to type in When Harry Met Sally and watch it because it's such a cute film. And for some reason, I thought the girl was, um, I thought Sally was played by the girl from Clueless. It's not, is it? It's Meg Ryan. But Meg Ryan didn't play her from Clueless at all. But I loved You've Got Mail, and that's 1998. So like the early, like the 90s, and when like Sleepless in Seattle, I've watched all that kind of stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so I was really surprised that my mum didn't make me watch When Harry Met Sally. I don't know if she actually has watched it. I feel like she has, and she probably didn't like it as much as like Sleepless in Seattle, which is probably why she hasn't introduced me to it. But anyway, I really loved it, and I highly recommend that you watch it too. So the next category is music and I'm only going to talk about two things, none of them are One Direction related, I promise, which is actually quite weird for me, it's not Niall. Everyone knows that I'm still watch listening to Niall in my car every single day, I'm not even joking, it's a thing. And yeah, so the first person that I have been loving this month is Sam Smith. I tried to listen to the full album the other day and I just couldn't get into it but I think that was just because I was at my mum's and she was, she was watching Keeping It With The Kardashians and I was like, I'm gonna have to watch it because I have to watch this episode again for the 15th time. Yeah, so basically Sam Smith, I have been loving Too Good At Goodbyes and One Last Song. Oh my goodness, One Last Song, I've never felt like I related so much in my life. I just think it's such a good song and I heard it for the first time on the radio going uh, to the gym. I think I was going to my dad's first and then going to the gym and I was like, oh my god, what is this song? And I instantly, like, it's very rare that I do this these days because I always forget. Um, I instantly added it to my playlist while I was here at my dad's quickly getting changed to go to the gym. Um, but yeah, I have absolutely been loving Sam Smith at the moment and I'm so glad he's back because we needed more material from him. The second person that I have been loving this month is a old classic person of mine. Like, I've loved her for years and it is Pink. She's finally freaking back with Beautiful Trauma. I listened to the full, the full album last night while I was trying to sort out this monstrosity but it was completely different yesterday. Um, yeah, I was listening to the full album yesterday and I really loved it. My favourite song is at the moment. 
uh, beautiful Troma. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I just think it's such a cute, I don't know why, I think it's a cute song. Like, when you listen to the lyrics, you're like, I put, you punched a hole in the wall, a hole in the wall, and I framed it, and you think that's a cute song. I don't know, I just think that it's like a little love song that she's written to Carrie. Carrie, I don't know how to say his name, I'm sorry. Um, a hubby, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I really like it. So I will also leave links to their Spotify profiles below if you want to listen to that. So those are all the things that I have been loving this month. If there's anything that you want to let me know that you've been loving, please do leave a comment below. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And also, if you are new around here, please do hit subscribe. I will be doing at least two videos every single week in December. If you like this kind of content and you want me to carry on doing that afterwards in like January, blah, 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 then let me know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoy my videos and I will be back some point this week.